AITA for not letting my husband into the labor room and picking our child's name. This is a throwaway account because I'm so annoyed and need to vent. This will be a lot so I'm sorry in advance. I 28F had been together with my husband 27M for nearly 10 years. We got married at 21, had our first son a year after, followed by our daughter three years later. I built my whole life around my family. We got good jobs, he worked full time, I worked from home, a good home in a great neighborhood, put our children in good schools. We also had a successful business on the side. I thought we did everything right. My best friend since we were in middle lived close. We had our daughters around the same time. We'd have play dates all the time. We leaned on each other a lot. I gave her all the support when she was going through issues with her daughter's deadbeat father and got her in contact with a good lawyer. I leaned on her when I was recovering from my traumatic second birth and depression followed by. We leaned on each other for everything. Ten months ago I found out I was pregnant for the third time. I was really uneasy with this because of my traumatic time the second time. Also my husband and I both agreed we were done after our two children. I considered abortion but my husband insisted we keep it. I was still uneasy about the pregnancy and borderline miserable for the next six months. I was diagnosed with hyperemesis gravidarum and was throwing up 20x a day for six months straight. I lost a ton of weight, had to stop working and was sent to the hospital frequently due to severe dehydration. My husband stood by me and showered me with attention I was so grateful for it. He cut down his hours at work to look after me, the house and the kids. My best friend would come to our home frequently to check on me and also help with the house. When I hit six months the hyperemesis gravidarum decreased by a lot and I was almost back to myself. One night after having a movie night with my family, my husband and I were getting ready to sleep. He slept right away while I quickly checked on the kids before getting ready to get into bed. His phone was vibrating like crazy, so out of genuine curiosity I unlocked his phone. We used to do this a lot when we were younger I didn't think too much of it. I was already sighting in bed. I saw messages from my friend. It was more frantic spam mess. One of them being please come over I need you. Or I know I shouldn't be messaging here but I miss you. And come over when she's asleep. I think I was there in a daze for nearly 5 minutes. I cried a lot quietly and the fatigue kind of left me. I scoured his phone looking for more. I saw emails and DMs of them both and even using apps like kick to message on, and the pictures, but the worst part was finding out my husband left me one time in the hospital with my mother, while he went back home where my kids were being babysat by my friend and got intimate in our bedroom, with our kids in the house. I kicked him out the following morning after confronting him, and filed for separation some time after. For the next two months he had been begging for forgiveness, then complaining slash insulting me that I'm not letting him see his kids or that I'm stopping him from going with me to doctor appointment, which I had been. We had planned months earlier about who's going to be in the labor room. It was going to be my mother and husband. He he called me when I was 35 weeks questioning about the labor situation. At this point he had moved in with my ex-friend's house shortly before this call. I said no he got very angry. Lots of my in-laws and family members told me to put our differences aside for our baby. I still said no. I gave birth to my son with my mother and sister and didn't feel any regret by that choice. After my second Tamwadic birth I just wanted to make sure this one was as stable as possible which it was. We were going to name our child after his father that passed away. I went with it to make him happy but changed my mind and picked a name I had always loved since childhood. This aggravated him even more. AITA? Because I'm being guilt-tripped by many people right now. All I want is for everyone to leave me alone and for me to just be with my kids.